All right, guys, it's Chuck Grover Forge and Truth, and today we are looking for a certain type of mushroom. Let's see if we can find it. All right, guys, today we are hunting hedgehogs. No, hedgehogs are not a native species to Pennsylvania. But what I'm talking about is the hedgehog mushroom otherwise known as the wood hedgehog or the sweet tooth mushroom. So, I think I found some. Let's check it out. You see this? And the reason why we'll be able to tell if this is the hedgehog mushroom, one of the key features actually on the underside, from one of the features I can see right, right here, I can already see that it's the cap is slightly bent to where the stalk meets it. The Latin name for this mushroom is Hydnum rapandum, and rapandum meaning the stalk is bent backwards. So let's see if we have the Hydnum rapandum mushroom first. We're gonna have to take one. So we cut the stalk clean. And we do have one. Rapandum means that the stalk is bent backwards. And you can see where I cut that free from the ground. The cap is bent backwards and it has this little indent towards the rear of the cap. And it's round and the stalk is quite thick for the size of the mushroom cap. So another way we can tell what we have is if we bruise, like I just did, the side of this mushroom, it almost immediately turns in orange or brownish. So it bruises orange. But look at the underside of that mushroom. Try to get it in the view as best I can. It has teeth or spines just like a hedgehog and that is the uh, fertile surface where the spores are going to drop from so we have hydnum rapandum actually this might not be the same species that was named hydnum rapandum but it is a close relative if it isn't the only way we'd be able to tell is again with genetic testing but this is a in my book choice edible mushroom so Let's see how many we can find right here. And I have another one right here. And guys, this spot has been producing these for me for many years. I always check the back end to make sure it isn't bug ridden. But again, you can see that darker area underneath there, the spines are starting to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and set these down as we cut them. I can cut a whole mushroom bag in this location of these. It is just a really good spot. I've had this one for a while. This one has a little bit of a dark edge to it, but we could probably take that off if we need to. It's burnt, it's worm free though. Let's see what we got here. Here's a bigger one. Looks like something was eaten on the back of it here. Let's see how it kind of conditions in. No bug holes. And right there, you can see those spines hanging down. Real meaty mushroom, really. It has some, some heft to it. And this is gonna taste pretty good. Um, these taste real like fruity and nutty at the same time it's kind of hard to explain i'm going to leave these smaller ones right where they're at because i can come back later and here's a guy that got twisted up in some ground foliage uh oh well i guess i'll go ahead and trim off what's good here he got twisted up in a root you can see the spines yeah he's a little deformed because of that situation he was in but he is a hedgehog mushroom. And look at over here. There are some smaller ones starting. 
You can see how they just push up the leaf litter. They grow rather fast. I wait all year for these. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have cut him. But what we'll do is we'll put him back. If he's going to drop spores, then he can go ahead and drop them. You can see how they kind of will kind of grow right past stuff. Have things intertwined in them. What you do is you clean all that out. Sorry about the camera shake and everything, guys, but I'm without a cameraman right now. But that's how we get all this information out. But yeah, have another one. And when you're looking for these and you're starting to find them, watch for things being pushed up because that is another way that you can just find the mushroom you're looking for because when that stuff's mounted up, it means something's pushing up on it. Now, I find them all around these trees right here. And yeah, I know it looks like I'm at a conifer forest, but there's a lot of oak trees in around here. It's not all. Oh, that looks like a nice fresh one right there. And it is sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. Ooh. I think I just saw a great big one. We'll drop this in our pal, guys. We'll walk over and see what we got. And this spot will be filled with them now. Look at this. This is what I'm used to in this spot, guys. These things. And always, like I say, get off the beaten trail and look off to the side where other people don't look. Look at that mushroom. So let's get this one cut off. You can see those spines real nice in the sun there. They're real soft to the touch. And that is, in my book, a choice edible mushroom. Now the bigger ones might get a little bit bitter. Uh, I usually try to stay to the smaller ones. But I tell you what guys, this is just a really good tasting mushroom. It really goes good with a lot of different dishes that you prepare. There's my fillet knife that I use to cut mushrooms. So I got a stack of nice, nice little stack of mushrooms for dinner when I go home. So I hoped that I helped you and I hope this information helps you in your prepping, your survival classes, whatever you need. But this time of year in the summer months, you want to be able to find other than morel mushrooms or uh, some of these choice edible mushrooms that get these uh, weekend hunters off their couches and out into the woods like the morel does, but everybody knows morels. Most people know chicken of the woods. A lot of people know sheep's head, but they're missing out on some of the best ones because they don't learn the rest of them. Let's get out there and find what's in the woods. So the hedgehog mushroom, hydenum rapandum. Bent back, bruises orange to brownish. You can just see it bruise, and I just rubbed that. And the bruise is just starting to come through. You guys can see it starting. So it is bruising brown. It has teeth, not gills. So if you guys like this video on hiding the rapandum, the sweet tooth, the hedgehog, the wood hedgehog mushroom, then please like, share, and subscribe. The most important thing is to get out there and share this knowledge that has been lost over time. Hiding them, repand them. The hedgehog mushroom. Delicious mushroom, guys. Don't fall for the misinformation. There is so much to offer out in the woods. It's not that you're out there starving trying to survive. There's an abundance in God's creation for you to thrive. Get out there. And like always, keep foraging.